Welcome to tutorial number four. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll make different zones, uh, make basic terrain, add static picture to your map, and basic information about your map. Okay, now that we open our Unreal editor, okay, we're gonna make a cube, and we're gonna use size uh, 512, 512, 512. So we want to choose a texture for this cube. So go ahead. I will use this one. Okay, now that you have done that, you can uh, subtract your cube so that you actually make it. Let's uh, move that out of the way. Uh, okay, now we're gonna make a small hallway, so uh, open up the cube builder again. Okay, now that you have it open, we can uh, change the size of uh, this small hallway we're going to make. Uh, that's not about right, so we want to change that. It must be a bit bigger. So, uh, this is not right, so... Uh, this is gonna be okay. So you must put it on the line, then uh, subtract it. Okay, that looks alright. Now we want to make the other room and the other side as well. So you can just press Shift D. That makes a duplicate of the room we already have. And then when holding Shift in the 3D view, you can actually move uh, the cube to the other side. Okay, now press the cube there. Okay, now you can see the result. That uh, Okay, now we have done that. You want to move the brush out of the way, of course. Okay, now we're going to make a, a sheet. You will need this uh, icon here. Press it. Okay, now we're going to uh, change the size to what we have as we uh, for our rooms. So the height was uh, uh, 512, and I want to make it in the x-axis, of course. Uh, move to the location where you have your map. Put it on the line. Okay, put it on the right location. Okay, when you have done that, it should look like this. We, uh, you can change the texture, but uh, you have to realize you don't see that actually in the game. So, but it's just for you to make it easy for you. So I'm gonna use. Uh, let me check. Uh, so much to choose. I'm gonna choose this one. So it's actually a different texture. So I know it's a. Uh, it's no, it's a sheet. Okay, I'm gonna unselect them so you can easily see what I'm uh, choosing. Uh, we're gonna make a portal, invisible and two-sided. Then press OK. Okay, now we have done it. You can actually see the difference. We have actually made the sheet. Okay, we're gonna move the red brush out of the way. We're gonna m duplicate this the same as we did with the room, so we don't have to make it again. Now put it on the lines again. Okay, now we have done that. Now press uh, build all to see uh, if it. Okay, it's dark because we did not add any light yet. So press this cube so we can actually see what we are doing. If you press this uh, icon here, you can actually see that we have different room zones. The color means that there are different rooms. And we're going back to the texture mode now. Okay, now we're going to go open actor. We're going to info info actor. Then we're gonna use zone info. This, with this thing, you can actually change uh, the options of the room. Okay, now we add three zone infos. We're gonna use the first one to change the light. So open up zone info properties. Uh, go to zone info. Uh, we're going to change ambience brightness uh, to 100. Okay. We're gonna add the player starter here. Uh, the second room, we're going to make a bit darker, so we know that there are different rooms when we're in the game. So choose 40 for this one. Okay, next one we're also going to choose 40, but we are going to make a, a fog in this one. So uh, change to 40, then go to zone info and be distant fog change to true. Oh, okay, true. Now we are going to change the distance fog. Uh, distance fog start. We're going to change to 300 since it's a small room. If we leave it on 3000, you won't really see much difference. Okay, and 800 and 300. Okay. We're also going to change a different color for this one. Uh, we're going to make red fog. I know it's a bit strange, but we will do. Okay. Now you can close this one. And um, okay, okay. When you build all, you see the different lights in the rooms. 
Okay, you probably noticed that you don't see the fog, but you will see that in game. Save off, of course. Uh, build all again and save again. That's what I always do. Uh, okay, now I will start up the map, so I will skip this part of the video because uh, you guys don't have to wait for that. Okay, here we are. Uh, let me make this a bit smaller so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna click uh, ready. Okay, here we have a basic room with 100% uh, brightness. The other room is a bit darker. And this will be the smoke room when once we enter it. Okay, you can actually see that there is smoke now, red smoke. Looks pretty good, but you have to have smoke in big areas, not like this. Because it will look stupid anyway. <laughs> now you can see when we enter the other area, the smoke is gone. So, well, this was basically the zoning tutorial. Okay, now we continue to our uh, terrain tutorial. Uh, we will make a new cube builder. Uh, open it. Uh, 4000, 4000, 4000. Why we use big size? Because we want to make a big uh, outside area. Okay, we're going to choose a texture. Uh, open, open a pack. Uh, we got landscape here, landscape T. Uh, we are going to use a grass texture for this one. Uh, this one will look nice. Uh, now we're gonna subtract the room. Okay, we have uh, a grass texture room now. We want to add an actor. Go to info, uh, look for a zone info, add on the floor. Okay, now we are going to lift it a bit in the sky since uh, you won't want to make it on the floor once you lift the uh, ground. Okay, beat rain zone, you want to set that to true. And then zone light, we're going to use 150. Mm. Okay, once you've done that, build all, you can actually see that there is light now in this room. Okay, now we are going to open our terrain tool. Click this icon. Okay, once you open it, we're going to new, uh, my package, my level, uh, group uh, terrain uh, 1, oh no, I mean name train 1. <laughs> the X size will be, uh, we're going to leave that for now. I don't really want to change that right now. Okay, we're going to add layers. We're going to use um, my level as new layer. Uh, group, we're going to use terrain. Uh, name also uh, terrain X. Uh, we are not going to change that. We are. You have to change this to white, otherwise you won't see it. It's alpha filled. Okay, the U skill we're going to use eight eight. And the V skill, of course. Okay, now we have uh now that we have built all, you can actually see that we have a terrain now. Okay, you actually see that we have a different tool of vertex editor. With this, you can actually uh, lift the floor up to the to whatever you like. We are going to move the red brush out of the way since it's very irritating that it's in the way. Okay, now we are going to open it again, the terrain tool. Okay, you can see that we have right away our uh, tool again. Okay, now we are going to lift the ground a bit up. Uh, press shift and both mouse keys and then uh, move it upwards, to move the ground upwards. Click on the floor again somewhere else and then press shift and both mouse to make it go downwards. And so you can basically uh, move it up and down uh, to whatever you like going to add a bit more to the map, okay, like this. This will look nicely. Okay, now we are going to add a player starter. Uh, we, ah, we will choose this location, add player starter here. Okay, now we have that. Uh, now we can um, basically save the map and uh, build all. Okay, now we have uh, started our map. I click ready, of course. Uh, you now you can see the difference in the, the landscape. Uh, it's pretty nice already. We go and walk towards it, so you can actually see it on top. You can actually see that there's a pretty nice uh, mountain already here. Small mountain, of course. Well, well, this is how you basically make a landscape in uh, Killing Floor. Okay.